morning and uh, welcome back to uh, the Football Terrace. Real just a, a quick one this morning really because of course Man United fans yesterday got some brilliant news. The, the Bruno Fernandes deal has been concluded. And do I expect for one single second for that to make up for yeah, years of incompetency over a decade of the Glazers streaming money out of this football club, years of you know negligence and mismanagement. For me personally, no, I don't expect that to that one deal to change people's opinions. I don't even expect winning a handful of trophies to change the hearts, minds, and souls of many, many people. But attacking somebody's family home, there is absolutely zero justification or excuse for that in the context, context that we find ourselves in. And I mean that in, in the sense of, you know, I'm not happy with how Ed Woodward runs a club or, you know, the job that he's doing. But he's not kidding anybody, you know. He's not making people starve. He's not invading countries. He's not attacking people. You know, there's nothing that he has done that warrants any level of attack on himself and his person. It doesn't deserve disgraceful verbal abuse. It doesn't deserve any threats of any violence along those lines. Least of all, his family home, where his wife and children sleep. And I think that, I mean, any justification of it demonstrates what kind of horrible human being you are, personally. Fortunately, very, very fortunately, his wife and children were not present. They were not in the house, which is it's a saving grace. It's genuinely a saving grace. And, you know, I put a tweet out yesterday, which it caught a lot of heat when, I'm talk when I was speaking about how, you know, abusing Ollie, make, for me, makes you a fake fan. You're not really a Man United fan if you're out there abusing, making lies up, making threats towards the manager, especially a United legend. And equally, you're not a Man United fan if you think that it's acceptable to one, even turn up at Woodward Tower, let alone throw flares, shout abuse, post social media, um, pieces of social media content saying that Ed Woodward is going to die. It's absolutely abhorrent and there isn't an excuse for it. I don't even feel, by the way, I don't feel embarrassed as a Manchester United fan this morning because these people aren't me. I have nothing to do with them. I'm not associated to them in any way, shape or form. The fact that they proclaim to support the same football team as me is a complete irrelevance as far as I'm concerned. I would never behave in that way. I would never advocate it. I would never push for it. I'd never incite it. And it's why I think football fans need to do a lot more, especially the, the fan channels, the fanzines, platforms like mine that speak directly to the fans, that converse, converse and have dialogue every single day with football fans in the UK and, and of course very very importantly all around the world and we should be pushing back against this we should be challenging this we should be doing everything in our power to say no and the reason that we see situations get to this point the reason that we see fans you know some fans of the club if you want to even call them that but we'll just put them in that bracket for now the reason that we see some people feeling empowered to go out and do these things and behave in this way is because of where it stems from, the root cause. And it's why I push back on the, the verbal abuse and the lies and the, and the slander that go towards managers and players on such a regular basis because this sort of stuff gets thrown out there and done. And it's not incitement, that isn't what I'm suggesting, but it rattles the cages of people and it pushes everyone to that next level. Oh, you know, I got away with swearing about him. Oh, then I got away with swearing about him and making a few idle threats. Then I got away with make, swearing about him and making a few idle threats and then singing some songs about him in the ground. Oh, and then I got a lot of traction online where I said somebody should go to his house. Do you know what? Me and the boys are going to go there and do it. These things escalate if they're not shut down by the masses early. 
And whether it be fans turning up at Woodward's house, whether it be fans you know, attacking people like the United Stand and AFTV after games, this type of behavior needs to abuse him. You don't have to threaten him. You don't have to you know, lie about them, spread nonsense. You know, well, if we saw it yesterday with Oli, with, with the Alexis Sanchez situation, it was actually, it's also done. It's pretty much killed any anti-Glazer movements, or in terms of it's killed any credibility now, because, you know, what the press will do, and even what some people inside Man United will do, is start to associate everybody together, lump everybody into the same box. And I think that that's why you need to keep these things peaceful. That's why you have to project yourself with decorum and, 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 and uh, almost an air of professionalism in the way you, you stand up against these things, you know, boycotting products, not attending games, uh, making, you know, being prepared to concede some aspect of the argument to win the overall battle. And until people start to do that, change is never going to happen. And it is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. There is no justification for it. I'm not going to search one. I'm not going to defend these absolute cretins that decided to do it. But remember, when Man United next lose a game, when Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, whoever you support, if you're overly abusing an individual player, you contribute towards this. You may not be the individual that goes and you know, lets a flare off and throws it at somebody else, at somebody's house. But all these areas have a starting point, a seed is planted within fans, within people. And it, you know, it's a sad, sad world, it really, really is. Um, it, and I wanted to address it because we always, you know, I'm very busy the next few days, so I haven't really got a lot of time in the studio. But I wanted to take some time to address this situation today because it, you know, it kind of, yeah, it, it, I, I, it's not even, there's no embarrassment. I feel absolutely no embarrassment. It was just a sense of shock and horror. You know, imagine you're, you're not doing a great job, but your family home is getting attacked. And there's an element of me that can understand it if, you know, he... <laughs> if Ed Woodward had done some heinous, sickening things in this world. But actually, not running Man United very well is never an excuse to even abuse him verbally in terms of name-calling, lies, slander, aggression, threats, let alone actually turn up at his family home. It's as simple as that for me. Do me a big, big favour. Please hit the like and share button, and we'll see you all again soon.